Polyester materials for clothing and drinks bottles is a huge global industry. Catalytic Technologies has developed a titanium catalyst that improves the quality and processing properties of polyester materials. We're here at their lab space at Durham University to find out more. The polyester that we're particularly focused on is polyethylene terephthalate. This is used for things such as bottles and fibre for making cloves. 99.9% .9 of all of this polyester produced is used using antimony oxide as a catalyst. Uh, antimony has been under scrutiny for probably the last decade, so it blocks filters, fouls plants, it means there's more shutdown time. The antimony stays in the polymer, it can leach, uh, and many people speculated and there's lots of research that's in the public domain on antimony leaching from drinks bottles. So what we've been focusing on is creating a catalyst that can replace the antimony without any issues. Titanium offers some really good, good properties compared to antimony, particularly with regard to, to crystallisation. The bottle that you produce has brighter sidewalls, clearer sidewalls and stronger sidewalls and that's got huge benefits in terms of the, the weight a bottle needs to be for a certain strength but also for the barrier properties around the edge of a bottle for maintaining CO2 gas in carbonated soft drinks. So titanium is abundant and it's considered benign so the titanium in the process trends towards titanium dioxide so throughout the process and then when you dispose of the plastic at the end there really are no environmental issues and you can use 25 times less titanium than antimony to get the same activity. Titanium catalysts themselves for use in polyester are, are not new, they've been known for a, a number of years but there's a reason they haven't been successful in industry is because in general they, there's flaws, there's, there's problems with them. The difference between our catalyst and competitor type catalysts is around the, the actual structure of what the catalyst looks like. Historically, producers were producing these titanium catalysts and they didn't realise that they had these titanate clusters. So titanium's bonded together through an oxygen and they do this through condensation reactions with water. They cause problems because what they do is multi-site titanates can, can cleave polyester chain. So a long polymer chain, you can chop it up because you've got active, active catalyst sites next to each other and they can, they can work together to break up a chain. If you've got a single titanium, and that's, what I, that's the unique feature of our catalyst, if you've got a single site, you can produce the forward reaction to produce a polyester chain, and when you melt that, pro, melt that polyester into a preform to make a bottle, you have thermal stability, and that's absolutely key. Currently we have around 10 customers for our catalyst. Uh, they're making things such as fibre and film, but the business that we've been particularly looking to get into is bottles, in particular carbonated soft drinks. Uh, this is a market of around 20 million metric tonnes of polyester per annum. Because the bottle market is such a big market, people tend to buy preforms, which is a precursor to a bottle. This would go into an infrared lamp, the heat would go in and then air would be blown in through the bottom uh, and it would blow the bottle into the preform into whatever shape bottle uh, is going to be filled, whether that's a Coca-Cola bottle or a, a water bottle. And because a, a, a titanium and an antimony preform process very differently, their crystallisation behaviour is different. You wouldn't be able to use the same equipment set to the same parameters. The industry would very much need to leap rather than phase in a transition. What we're able to do is go to customers with preforms and with bottles and say, here you go. And we don't just show them in a room or on a PowerPoint slide, we can leave them in the room and people can analyse them, people can test them and they've never been able to do that before. That We've got customers in various places around the world using our product on their line, so we've got references and now what we're looking to do is to go to that next stage to these really big polyester plants. The risk in running a new catalyst is, is, is huge. So we minimise this by demonstrating the technology on smaller plants 
but now really we're at the point where the technology needs to step up onto a much larger plant. We've got a manufacturing facility on board which is capable of producing enough catalyst to satisfy the entire polyester global demand. We believe the next step is to introduce this into the bulk bottle market. Uh, we believe this is going to occur this year, uh, so it's going to be a, an interesting end to the year.